Good evening, everybody. Joanna, Chris, Marcela. That's everything there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So we're gonna wait a little bit for the rest of the students, okay? Hey, good evening, Lindaura. How's everything? Okay, Chrissy, I, I saw your message in the chat. Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, so we have a new opportunity to learn something uh, new in English. Stephanie says, good evening. Good uh, hello, hello. Good night, everyone. Good evening, Roxana. Good evening. <laughs> hello, hello. You say good evening, right, Roxana? Hello, teacher. Hello, I am Houston, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I am in Houston. Oh, my God. Hey, now yeah. try to practice your English there with a yeah, lot of people, I right? Do. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> hey, that's it's fantastic. A lot of it's a, a little difficult to me, but I try, I try. I know I, I have a mistake, but I try. Okay, don't worry. Okay, it's part it's part of the of the process, right? Hey, but I'm really I'm really glad you are there and you can practice with people, with real people there, American people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, let's see, Roxana, what's new in English? What have you learned there? Idioms, more idioms. Yes, I have three idioms, teacher. You have three idioms for tonight. Uh, you are yes. the expert at idioms. What? You are the expert at idioms over here. Um, it's, I like idioms, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. let us know about the three idioms you you learned today. Right now, yeah. Yes, yeah, right now. Okay. The, Everybody talking. Is okay. Okay. The first, um, under the word. The meaning is, uh, es como estar enfermo o sentirse mal. For example. For, for example, teacher, I didn't do my homework because I under the word. Okay. 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 The second, <laughs> okay. Okay. The second is um the ball the ball is in your court. All right. The meaning is depende de ti. It all for depends on you. Uh -huh. See, for example, for example, if uh, no, the ball is in your court if you if you want to learn English. Wow. Okay. The um the third is uh, see eyes to eyes. Uh, the meaning is um estoy de acuerdo. Uh, okay. for example, I I see eyes to eyes with you. 
Okay, perfect. <laughs> now, do me the favor to include the the exam the the idioms the idioms sorry and the examples in the chat, Roxana, so that the rest of the people. Uh, I don't know if it is possible for you because I I can see that you are just uh, traveling. So you're commuting to commuting home, right? So, but I think you were able to do it. Okay, so Carolina, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I want to share something new in English. With and the song, nada más to enjoying, uh, meaning disfrutando. Y, y no sé cómo se dice, be, beige o Beijing. Begin? Beige. Beige. Pero uh, significa ser vivo. Uh, being. Yeah, ok, being. Being. Uh, being, ajá, esos dos. Ok. Gracias. Thank you, Thank Carolina. You. Jonathan, hi, buddy. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I didn't do my home, homework. You didn't do your homework? Uh, I, I, I am working. I am working. Uh, Are you working now? Uh -huh. And you didn't yes. have time. Sí, yes, yes. Okay, so but tomorrow you're gonna okay. share something, something new with the with the people here. Hello, okay. Joanna. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I learned to say once you should stop anything possible. Uh, is it is meaning? Una vez que eliges la esperanza, todo es posible. And that sounds great. great. Eres buen, er, eso suena genial. Uh, that sounds great. Hey, that sounds great. That Those examples sound, sounds great. sound great. Thank you, Joana. Can you please include the examples in the chat? Okay, thank you, Lindaura. What's in English, Lindaura? Good evening. Good evening. Eh, algunas frases. Mm -hmm. take, take your time. Tomarse su tiempo. Take your time. Have, I had a nice day. Tuve un buen día. I had a nice day. Uh, I... Home. Estoy en casa. I'm at I'm home. home. Good. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Go de there. Go there. Go there. Okay. Bang. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Linda, okay. for sharing those okay. expressions. Okay? okay. 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 Let's listen to Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Good evening. Jessica. Hello, good evening. Please, please, Jessica. Life is on la life is mm, life is only one. Life is it to the fullest. To the fullest. Okay. Very good. Now Roxana is sharing the idioms there. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Jorge. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. I learned today two two words with the song is similar. Break uh -huh. and break. The okay. first, the meaning is uh, como romper o roto. And for example, please don't break those expensive Italian bases. All right. Que, and the order break, the meaning is como frenar o detenerse. Right. For example, you should break your car when you see someone crossing the street. Great, hey, Jorge. Great example. Can you please include them in the chat, Jorge? Because those are okay. fantastic. Those are fantastic. Okay, so that the people okay, can you. 
can can start like thinking about the meaning of different different verbs, right? Sounds the same. Uh, they are written down the, in the same way, but the meaning is different according to the context. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, let's listen to Maria Magdalena. Hello, Maria. Good evening. Maria Magdalena, are you there? We cannot see you, but... Yeah, now, yes, we can see you. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, what's in English, Maria? Ah, eh. Eh. Um, Miss Auron, like, lies small, joy, why, joy, wait for great happiness. Okay, do me the favor to include it in the chat. Okay, now, well, 10 minutes. Uh, what time is it, people? What time is it now? Nine fifteen. It's it's nine nine not nine eight p.m. Mm, okay. Nine fifteen, teacher. So 9 15 or 15 after mm -hmm. 9. Mm, are you sure? Well, you know, the topic for tonight, we're going to start with the class just right now because we're going to talk about time. Uh, let me see. I will uh, share the, the information now. And we're gonna by, by reading the the objective or the learning result. And it says by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Okay. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Okay, that's what we're gonna try to do tonight. Well, the topic is about um, telling the time in English, okay? So, and as you can see, there is a question right here. Hey, what time is it there? What time is it or what's the time? We have two different ways to say the time in English. Well, we're gonna listen to the way to uh, pronounce different cities uh, in the world. We're gonna listen and we're going to repeat, okay? Do, do me the favor to listen to it and repeat at the same time, listen. That's okay. Well, we're going to start Hi, from everyone. here. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's do it by a short audio. Listen program. and repeat, please. To practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. 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 Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. New York City. New York City. Montreal. Montreal. Sao Montreal. Pablo. London. Casablanca. 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 Warsaw. Bursa. Bursa. Riyadh. Riyadh. Bangkok. Bangkok. Tokyo. Bangkok. Tokyo. 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 Now, Sunday. To a short audio oh. program to practice now, different cities around the world. I will pause <laughs> because I, I, I want everybody to. I want everybody to repeat, okay? Let's listen and repeat. Okay. Vancouver. The first one? Vancouver. 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 
Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico, Mexico City. City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. 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 Montreal. 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 New York City. New Jersey. New York City. New York City. New York City. San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. Brasilia. 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 Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. London. 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 Now we got to the old continent, right? London. London. Anka. London. Casablanca. Casablanca. Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Warsaw. 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 Moscow. 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 Riyadh. 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 Seoul. 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 Bangkok. 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 Tokyo. 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 Sydney. 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 Now let's listen to a conversation. Listen, please. Which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Hello. Let's listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Okay, now do me the favor to, to close your microphone so that we can listen clearly to the audio. Close your microphones, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now we're gonna listen to it. I want you to notice about um, the way they, I mean, about the context, right? So what do you think is happening here? What do you think is the story all about? What would be the conversation all about? What's the conversation all about? What are they doing? The what sleeping. Are they, sleeping. Are they are sleeping. sleeping. Different country. They are in different oh. countries, but what what are they doing? Uh, calling they're they're calling on the cell phone. They are talking by phone, right? Because they are calling. Okay, talking by phone. Calling. Mm. Calling. Okay, so listen to they the are story. conversation because they are in different countries. They are talking by phone and they are in different countries. Now let's see. Listen carefully. Hello. Hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Listen and repeat. Now we're gonna, well, we're gonna listen to it. Which listen and repeat. And we're gonna repeat, okay? Listen and repeat. Repeat. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, Hi David. Hi, David. Hey, this, this is John. Hi, David. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I I'm calling, calling from, from Australia. 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 So I don't know, but some people say I calling. Do you say it says I'm I calling, calling, calling from Australia? I'm calling from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. 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 Listen. Australia. 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 
Now, can you help me, please, with this part? I at and I conference in Remember, 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 I'm at a, 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 I'm at I'm at a, 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 I at my not a conference in Sydney. Remember? I remember. In Sydney. Listen to Debbie. Oh, right. What time is it there? Oh, right. All right. What time is it there? This is her. All right. What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? <clears throat> what time is it there? 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 Uh, it's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in, in Los Angeles, right? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles. Right? Right? How do you pronounce this? It's 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 Yes. 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 Four o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Four a.m. Four a.m. Oh, oh, I'm really, really sorry. sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. That's okay. That's okay. I'm awake. I'm awake, I'm awake now. now. Well. Now, do me the favor uh, uh, to read, to read, give me a second, please. Can somebody help me to read this? <clears throat> Can somebody help me to read? Hello. 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 Next part. Hi, Hi. Hi, this is John. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. 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 Then there is Australia. Hi, John continues. I am a conference. Remember? 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 Then David continues. All right. All right. All right. That's there. And John goes like this. It's 10 p.m. And for a club Then David replies. Yes, yes. For a club in the morning. For a club in the morning. And I'm really sorry. And finally, David says, Thing. That's, that's okay. okay. Hey, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now we're gonna listen to that's it okay. the last time. Vamos a escucharlo la última vez y ya luego voy a pedir a algunos de ustedes que me ayuden a leerlo, pero de manera muy natural y bien pronunciado. Okay. 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 Let's listen. 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 Right. Listen, 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 listen to it. Well, I think we're going to start from here. Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. 
Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> uh, poor David, right? So uh, I will ask two people. Okay, let's see. Roxana and Henry Escobar. Roxana, you start. Okay. Hello? Hi, David. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock. They're in just Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I am awake now. Now, okay, thank you. Now I need to listen to two people more, or two more people. Joanna Alas and Jennifer Flores. Jennifer, you start. Hello. Hello, Joanna. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Joanna. Joanna, are you there? Hi, David. This, this is John. I am calling from Australia. Okay. Australia? I am a conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it is there? It's ten. I am and it's four four o'clock. There is Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Uh huh. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. I'm awake now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I can see Carolina. Carolina is willing to participate and also Jorge Enriquez. Hello. Hi, David. This is John. I'm a calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. Okay, let's see. What time is it there? And also remember, it's okay. Important to let's see. Ah, uh, Catherine wants to participate, but let me let me explain the following. Is it um, is is different from it's. And you need to make emphasis in the pronunciation of those expressions, okay? Is it, is it. Okay, now, uh, Catherine, you are a volunteer now, right? Catherine and, we're gonna finish with this participation. Catherine and, mm, Ligia. Catherine and Ligia. Hello. Mm. Hello. Hello, hello. 
Well, Maria wants to participate. Maybe Ligia is facing some problems. Ligia, can you listen to me? No, maybe Ligia is facing some problems. So Maria is going to participate. Maria, go ahead. Hello. Hi, Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, why not? That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay, it sounds better. Well, thank you, people. We're going to stop uh, this practice just right now because I have some extra information that I want to share with you. Well, I will, I will share some links so that you can uh, practice whenever you want to. Okay, these are the links that I will use tonight. Hopefully, we are going to, oops, we're going to finish the activities, all the activities tonight. There's a second one, and I have another one here. So, oops, I don't need, well, give me a second. Okay, there you are. Well, let us let us see or let us have some review about about the topic on telling the time in English. It happens that we say it's five past, and then you say the hour, right? It's five past. It's ten past. It's a quarter past. It's 20 past. It's 25 past. It's half past. But when you move from from the from half past, then you then you say it's 25 to. It's 22. It's a quarter to. It's 10 to. It's five uh, minutes to. So what do I mean? When you come this way. Okay, this way. Then you say pass, pass. You see? But when you get here and then you start to move to the other side, they say two. It's a quarter two, it's ten two, it's five two, etc. Okay. Well. And now here we have some examples. Say it's, it's. Two, can somebody help me to read? Let me see. Okay, Marixa, try to solve the problem. Okay, can somebody can somebody help me to read? Mm hmm. It's, it's two o'clock. Thank you. It's five past two. 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 Okay, so it means that uh, it's all of them are by using the expression past, right? The so past, okay, so we use this one, right? <coughs> Now, on the other hand, we have the following. What? The following. 
It is half past two. It is half past two. It is half past two. It's five to three. 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 So it's, we have something else over here. It says we use at plus the time when giving the time of a specific event. How come? Well, we have some examples here. Examples such as the class starts at after at we have we have the event, right? What is the event? The class. This is the event, the class starts at nine o'clock okay second example the flight leaves at 10 to 3 the flight this is the event leaves at 10 at now and you use or we use it is or it's to answer a question about giving the time asking i, I mean about giving the time just right now for example what time is it? It is half past four. What's the time? It's 20 to five. So you see, what time is it? What's the time? Both are okay. Well, we have something something uh, interesting over here. It says that when saying the time or when saying the hour first and then the minutes, you say hour plus minus, do you see? It's 625. It's what is what is the other way? What is the other way to say the time? Remember? It's, 20, it's 25, it's 6, past it's 6. 25, it's 25. Past past six okay now that, that's the other way right so what about the second one it's a o o five the zero is said like a, 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 the letter o it's o. <clears throat> it's a o five it's nine eleven it's eleven it's 34. It's 234. Now, when saying the minute first and then the hour, you you do it like, well, the minutes plus pass plus two plus the hour. They say, for minutes, they say, uh, okay, from minutes, okay, from minute number one to 30, we use pass. The expression pass, but with after the 31, I mean, after 30, and then you have 31 to 59, then you use two after the minute. How come? What time is it over here? It's 25 to it's 25 to three. Okay, two, three. Okay, why? Because you have 35 minutes. 35 after 31. We use two. Two, exactly. So, second one. 20 past. It's 20 past 11. 20 past 11. 11. Now, look at it. It's 18 past 4. Past 4. Past four. Past four. Four. Now, look at this one. It's 9, nine to 9. 9, nine. to nine. 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 And the last one is one, it's one, one to three. three. One to three. One to three. It's one to three. Now, besides that, we have that 15 minutes past uh, the hour. We normally say quarter past. It's a quarter past seven. It's a quarter past seven. It's a quarter. When it is 15 minutes before the hour, we normally say it's a quarter two. two. Now look at this one. It's a quarter past. It's a it's a quarter to 
one. When it is 30 minutes past the hour, we normally say half past, half past. So it's mm -hmm. half past three. Half past three. But it we can also say half past, past, half past three. three. But we can three also three. say 3.30. Three. Uh -huh. The expression of clock is, is uh, very used when telling the time, right? So we say it's 10 o'clock, it's 5 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock. Sometimes it is written as 9 o'clock and the number plus o'clock, okay? Look, for 12, there are four expressions in English. We say 12 o'clock, midday or noon, midday. Midday. And midnight. Noon. Midnight. midnight. Yeah, so we have four expressions. Now, we, when asking for a time, we commonly use the expression. What time is it? What time is it? Or what time is it? it? What, time? what, is, what the time? is the time? What is the time? What is the time? A more polite way to ask for the time, especially from a stranger, is Could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me, Could you tell Could me the you time, tell please? Me the time, Could please? you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the, the yeah. time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? The common question four we used to ask uh, at what time a specific event will happen, or what time or when? What time does the flight to New York leave? When does the bus arrive from London? When does the concert begin? And uh, et cetera, right? So when giving the time, we also, we use it is or it's to respond to the questions to ask for the time right now. It is half past five, it's 10 to 12. We use the structure at plus time when giving the time of a specific event. Once again, right, the bus arrives at, the flight leaves at, the concert begins at, okay? And we can also use the subject pronoun in these responses, right? So if you are, what time does the bus arrive? Well, it, now we're talking about the bus, right? It arrives at midday. It leaves at a quarter to two. It begins at 10 o'clock, et cetera. So telling the time practice, we don't normally use the 24 hours clock in English. We use AM for the morning and p.m. for the afternoon and night. Example, three o'clock in the morning or three o'clock a.m. Three p.m. or three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, actually this is information about time now. I consider that you are uh, ready to solve some, ex some exercises about the time. Okay, we're gonna start just right now. What time is it? It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's 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 three o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Okay, it's three o'clock. Number two. What time is it? <laughs> It's seven. 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 It's a quarter to nine. 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 The next one, number four. It's it's quarter to one. It's quarter to one. 
It's a quarter it's to quarter one. one. A quarter Are you? It's one. Quarter, 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 quarter past one. Uh, it's one. It's quarter past quarter one. Quarter past one. one. Past one. one. Past one. Past one. Past one. What time is it? It's, it's, it's eight, eight, eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. What time is it? It's two. It's two half past two. Half past two. It's half past two. Half past two. It's half past two. Number seven. What time is it? It's, it's, it's quarter, quarter, quarter past, past five. 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 Five, half, half, half past eleven. Past eleven. Half past eleven. Half, half what time is it? It is quarter. 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 A quarter to twelve. It's a quarter to twelve. Number eleven. What time is it? It's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. And the last one. What time is it? It's half past four. It's half past four. It's half past four. Wow, you got a hundred percent of it. Now, in this one, you are going to type it. Lo van a ir digitando en el chat, por favor. Ahí lo voy a ir copiando yo la, la hora que ustedes me van indicando. Number one. What time is it? It... Type it's... it, please. Type it. Type it in the uh -huh. chat. Okay. 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 Is half half to eight? No, Jonathan. Six, seven, eight, nine. And now it's eight. Ah, uh, now yes. Uh, el Liliana got it, right? It's eight. Half past eight. Number two, what time is it? It is. Type it. Six, eight, eight, nine. It's... Ten to nine? No, not really. Five to nine, Jorge, you got it. <laughs> it's five to nine. It's five. Tonight. What time is it? Number three. Five tonight. Five tonight. Okay. Number three. <clears throat> yes. Uh, it's ten past past a quarter. No, no, Jonathan. <laughs> it's a quarter past ten. It's quarter. No, yes. It's, uh, it's quarter past ten. Quarter. Okay, Jorge, I think you got it. It's a quarter, a quarter past. past ten. Yeah. So number four. What time is it? Is it quarter? It's a quarter past ten. No. No. Is it quarter to one? Jorge Enriquez, you got it. It's it. It's a quarter to one. Number five. It's a quarter to one. Number five. It's eight. 
Okay, it's five past eight. Thank you, Jonathan. <clears throat> it's yes. five past eight. Number six. What time is it? It's five to, past to eight. No. No, it's past. <coughs> no, no, Roxana. I mean, number six. <clears throat> Uh, it's it forty is. to nine. No, it cannot be forty to nine. Yes. It's twenty to ten. Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, it's twenty to ten. Voy a cerrar y me voy a pasar la laptop porque del celular no puedo escribir. Okay, it's alright. Okay. Voy a cerrar, teacher. Okay, twenty yes, to it's it's twenty to it's ten. It's yeah, it's twenty to ten, right? Nine, yes. Okay, number yes. seven. Yes. Number seven. What time is it in number seven? Two. It's ten past three. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. Oops. It's in past three. three. Oh, I make you okay. Two. Number Sorry. eight. Number eight. It's ten to eight. It's ten to eight. It is. No. Ten to eight. It's past... number nine. It's mm, ten to eight. It's ten. No. Twenty past. Oh, two. it's twenty past two, right? Twenty. It's twenty past two. And the last one. What time is it? Number ten. It is. It's 8.35, yeah, it's 8.35, or remember the, the way we learned the, 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 the info that we learned tonight, right? It's 25.2 tonight, thank you. 25.9. And that's it. Okay, people. I will stop uh, sharing, and uh, we're gonna try to finish with the it's with the class, tonight. right? So uh, we learn how to say the the time in English. Of course, I want you to continue practice practicing the expressions, okay, and try to use them daily if possible, yeah, right? So that you you will um, get used to using those expression regularly. Okay, something that I want you I want to tell you it's about the importance of working in the activities in the platform. Esa semana tenemos dos actividades super importantes. ¿Cuáles son? El examen final. Exactly, Sara. The final test, el examen final, the final exam. Sí. Algunos, algunos, ya parece, parece que ya lo terminaron, ¿ok? Pero si todavía hay personas que no han hecho esa actividad, la pueden desarrollar a la brevedad posible, ¿verdad? Siempre y cuando teniendo en cuenta que lo más importante es aprender. Ok, second activity. ¿Qué otra actividad tenemos? Humber, ¿de qué es esa tarea, Shona? Lo más significativo que hemos aprendido. Van a generar, van a crear o van a buscar una actividad en donde nos demuestren lo más significativo que aprendieron de este nivel en todo el mes. Tiene que aparecer en esa actividad las cosas que ustedes consideraron o consideran que fueron las más significativas 
y que por supuesto jamás la van a olvidar de cómo funcionan, cómo se pronuncian, etc. ¿Ok? So, esas son las dos actividades que tenemos para esta semana. Para el día de mañana, eh, si ustedes se recuerdan, vimos en el, en el primer video este, varias ciudades. Entonces, ustedes nos van a, nos van a decir uh, cómo está el clima en cada una de esas ciudades. No, van a elegir una ciudad de manera individual, ¿verdad? Van a decirnos cómo está el clima eh, y... Um, ¿Qué regularmente usan las personas en estas fechas que hace, hace frío, verdad? Si, en esto, si hablan, de, por ejemplo, de Nueva York, cómo está el clima en Nueva York, eh, qué es lo que usan las personas, si usan un saco, guantes, botas, ¿ok? Para resguardarse del frío. Entonces, mañana nos lo cuentan. Y nos cuentan a qué horas especialmente se pone como más frío el clima. Eso es para el día de mañana, ¿ok? Uh, no sé si hay preguntas. Yo tengo una pregunta. Ah. Eh, eh, sí, no, no le logro entender lo de la tarea de lo que aprendimos, lo más significativo de este mes. ¿Qué es lo que nosotros aprendimos? Sí, claro. Eh, ¿Qué, ¿Qué usted? Un ejemplo, algo así. Puede, es libre la actividad, libre en el sentido que usted puede decirnos un un discurso, un cuento, una conversación, se puede coordinar con alguien, puede hacernos una presentación, eh, puede buscar ejercicios en la web, eh, resolverlos en, eh, acá en el grupo. O sea, depende de ustedes cómo quieran demostrarnos uh, lo que han aprendido durante este mes. Depende de ustedes, ¿ok? Es, es una actividad donde ustedes van a demostrar eh, lo más significativo que se llevan de este, de este su primer mes acá en inglés corporativo. Ok. Ok. Mm, Pero, no eh, I, have a, I have a question. Tell me, Roxana. Es, eh, como me salí eh, y volví a entrar, no le escuché sobre la tarea para mañana. Van a elegir una ciudad... Ok, y nos van a contar cómo está el clima en esta, en esta época del año. Y que, en, en qué horas del día se, como que se, se, se presta para que el clima se ponga más frío o más caluroso, dependiendo. ¿verdad? Este, y este, qué es lo que, que usan las personas, ¿verdad? En estas fechas de, 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 de frío. Okay. Corro. Quizás algún abrigo, guantes, botas, ¿ok? Y oh. este, que nos hablen un poquito de, de cómo, cómo se la pasan eh, algunas personas en esta fecha. Okay. ok. Gracias. No more questions. So, los felicito porque siempre están atentos, siempre están haciendo las actividades. Uh, y creo que pues van por un buen camino, ¿verdad? Recuérdense que apenas es su primer eh, mes, su primer nivel de inglés y si ustedes analizan y se autoevalúan, que es algo que también quiero que, que lo hagan regularmente, aún cuando ya no estén conmigo, que estén con otro teacher, que se estén autoevaluando, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cuánto me estoy llevando de este nivel? ¿Cuánto he aprendido? ¿Cuánto eh, provecho le estoy sacando a estas horas nocturnas que me dedico a estudiar inglés? ¿Ok? Eso es algo importantísimo. ¿Ok? Aparte de, de estar estudiando, también es bueno estarse autoevaluando de los avances que uno va, va teniendo. ¿Ok? Así que los veo el día de mañana. Y Cher, este, compartió el enlace sobre las, sobre las horas. Sí, 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 Jessica, sí. acá está okay. en, el, en el chat. No lo vi, por eso no preguntaba. Sí, por ahí ah, bueno. está. Gracias. Permítame. Sí, es que está hasta arriba. Aquí está, se lo voy a compartir de nuevo. Chris, y lo pasó a WhatsApp también por cualquier cosa. 
Ok, alguien que me ayude por favor a pasarlo a WhatsApp, se lo voy a agradecer mucho. Ya, okay. ya lo pasaron. Excelente, muy bien. So, ¿Y para, el siguiente, para el siguiente módulo, usted va a seguir siendo nuestro teacher. Pues fíjese que eso casi nunca sucede. Y eso depende de los, de los compañeros que nos ayudan este, a generar los grupos. ¿verdad? Ellos son quienes deciden eh, qué grupos nosotros como docentes vamos a atender. Le diré que en lo que tengo de trabajar acá solo se ha dado una vez. Entonces, ah. este, eh, es muy bueno que ustedes vayan escuchando diferentes eh, docentes para que pues cada quien tiene una manera de, de proyectar el aprendizaje. ¿verdad? Entonces, es bueno que ustedes se acostumbren a los diferentes estilos de, de enseñanza. Bueno, pues entonces desde ya muchas gracias por su paciencia, por su <risa> tolerancia y por el aprendizaje. Ok, todavía nos quedan unos tres días más, así que echémosle ganas. Ajá. Echémosle ganas. Hey, good night, people. And good see night. you tomorrow. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.